All right, welcome back, CNR Fogs, to the Punkery Radio Show. We have a name now, not the CNR Radio Talk Show. That sounds a bit bland. This is the Punkery Radio Show, the Wednesday edition, where you talk about stuff. Hey, well, uh, we're sponsored today by Liberty City's Finest. Let's hear the advert. Hey, is, is there a job where I could shoot someone or sexually molest them and then not get in trouble? There sure is. Listen. I'm power hungry, paunchy, and baldy. How can I be a hero? By shooting people for the state. Become one of Liberty City's finest and you'll be a hero today. All it takes is two weeks training and a non-refundable deposit for your uniform and bullets. And you're ready to enforce the law. Become one of Liberty City's finest. Enroll today. There you go. Two weeks to train to be a cop. That sounds like most CNR cops out there. Shout out to Max Volume, who I saw killing another yellow inside the PD yesterday. I swear, every time I play CNR of San Fierro and he, that guy is on the server, he's killing a yellow. I think it's a five-day streak now. Anyway, gra uh, glad to have you punks in on a Wednesday. Um, I didn't write down any notes for this show, so if I sound a bit off like I usually do, then screw you. Hey, well, the uh, first topic here we're going to talk about is a thing that LB players and a lot of players uh, clamor over. Lag shot! Lag shot! It was taken away from us in February of 2014, where the days before that... Or the years before that, people were saying, oh, every time people died, say, oh, he only killed me because of the snitty uh, sink. Whenever this stupid bug gets fixed, I'm going to kill you, you faggot. And uh, lag shot was a bug throughout the years that people embraced, even though it was a bug. And it was finally fixed in 2014. And at that point, I expected people to say, yeah. The bug is finally fixed. Samp is finally normal, but it was the exact opposite. Black Comp brought in the feeling of leveling the playing field, where a 10-day-alive punk could kill a seasoned fighter in LB or any other city. And that's where people got mad and also introduced or uh, accentuated the... Uh, Aim butt. Aim butt. Now, aim butt is run rampant around the server. And uh, there are people who are saying that we have admins who don't know and don't and aren't able to eye aim butt. And to be honest, I'm one of those people who, you know, it's pretty tough for me to aim, uh, see aim butt very accurately. I'll, I'll admit that. You know, I have to look at it many, many times before I can make a uh, conclusion about whether or not someone's aimbutting. And uh, whenever it happens live in CNR, CNR these days when it comes to aimbutt complaints are like uh, the NBA. It's a fast game, very fast, so somebody can die fast. And before you know it, when you're ever trying to find aimbutt, the guy's dead, and he goes away as Godfrey. Anyway, uh... The punks here to talk about aim but we have uh ali here ali finally can talk he's yeah, the guy yeah, there he is finally he's been uh broadcasting radio for a while and hasn't been able to talk but now ali can give his thoughts we also have cyborg i saw it so uh, dude i can already feel the people in the cities right now saying oh cyborg shut up but We'll see. And our lag shot expert here, I wanted Restfield to be here. There's Restfield. What's up, Restfield? Hey, man, I eat ass. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Restfield. There you go. He eats ass. All right. So, uh, hot dog man. He's our new sponsor. Yes. Yeah, hot dog man. Will be um, sorry, CNR. We don't have today uh, free hot dogs. So, yes, no hot dogs. You know, can you believe the audacity that if you become a food vendor, you can't sell hot dogs. Owned. <laughs> Can you, you believe that? No, we blame Crazy Bob. So you just—it's the game's unplayable. To be honest, at least you yeah. can wear a hot dog on your hand and your on your, on your hat as well. You can, but that, yeah. you know that doesn't look as good. Yeah. 
Well, there's a hot dog, hot dog stand, you know. As, as they say, hot dogs are very unhealthy. Um, anyway, uh, Restfield, tell me why CNR should go back to Lack Shot. And why is Lack Shot 100%? Why is it Mouse? Uh, do you want the long version or the short version? Any version you want, Punk. All right, the okay. ass version, rather. The ass version. Yeah, the gotcha. ass version, yeah. I am very educated when it comes to Pono, which is the script uh, code that they use for SAMP. And the SAMP engine as well. But the only reason I feel as though they should go to lag shot that I'll try to make sense is it's a lot easier to find out who's health hacking than who's aimbotting. You said yourself that you couldn't see aimbotters that well, could you? Uh, yes, I, I, I admittedly am not very good at uh, spotting aimbotters. I'll, uh, I'll teach you, but, <laughs> but it's a lot easier to find a health hacker than it is to find an aimbotter. Yes, very, very easier. Very much. And with the amount of uh, aimbots, uh, most notably silent aim, it's... Uh, shout out to Jen. Shout, shout out to Jen. It's harder to find... Well, it's easier to get cheats nowadays than it was back in the day. Because back in the day you had a Soviet, and now these days you have um, all these Cleo mods that just do different things. Like, every aimbot's different from each other. So, um... Zen likes to say, one aimbot will uh, track your person, another aimbot you can have your crosshair in the general vicinity, and it'll it'll hurt them. Yes. I'm not against sync shooting, I'm just against the aimbot, and it's a lot easier to find a health hacker than it is to find a uh, aimbotter. And what the SAMP clients, and how sync shot actually works, is it it's two clients talking to each other. So if I shoot a gun, my client's going to say, like, yo, bro, he shot a gun. And if that bullet hits somebody, it's going to talk to your client and be, hey, I shot you. You're going to take damage. But if we had something called server-side health, that'd be pretty cool. Because then health hack and aimbot would be extremely easy to find if you logged it correctly. And some servers do that, uh, do that server side damage, isn't it? Yeah, I believe some of them. But the thing with lag shop is I personally, I, I like sync shooting, but I like lag shot even better because it kind of like, you had to learn something about Samp. It's like playing, um, a fine game of chess. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta practice. You gotta be, gotta be good. And uh, people were good back then. People are still good now. Surprisingly, the people that were really bad at the game before lag shot, no, before sing shooting was introduced, they suddenly got really good. I wonder why. But um, yeah, that's, no, that's why. part of it. You know, that's where I was gonna go next. You know, uh, besides the aim, but, but you know. These days, obviously, like I said before, I hear that uh, players that are that used to be snitty at shooting now are much better. You know, I remember, you know, I bring back my mini missions days. You know, uh, back when I was Ooh. admin at that server. I don't agree know. to that. I'm still shit. Well, I'll get to you out a bit, but um, <laughs> uh, on that server, like I used to kill a whole bunch of punks during lag shot. You know, it was pretty good. My ratio was pretty good in snits. I, I guess there is some skill to shooting at air. You know, I used to criticize that, but I guess there is some skill to shooting at air, especially when you got these 300 ping Borats around. Uh, but after lag comp came around and the server changed to lag comp, I noticed, well, you know, I'm dying a lot more, and there's nothing really I can do about it. Oh, yeah. I'd like to bring that up, too, real quick. With lag, sh with lag shot, you didn't die as fast if... You were having a 1v1 or you were in DM Stadium. People could get like 5, 7, 8 kills before they died regularly. You know, if you weren't a boosting animal, killing your friend for the record in, in the DM stat. But, don't me out with me. But, um, 
the survivability on lag shot was better. Nowadays, if you go to a uh, you go to you go to do a hit contract, I'll try to be relatable to the public. Yes. Um, versus skill, it's a good off chance that they will get you very low on health because everybody has the same advantage now. You don't really have a skill aspect when it comes to the combat. For RP yeah. servers, I kind of agree. You know, the servers that um. You use eagles and combat shotguns and M4. Lag shot wouldn't be appropriate because you have to be more precise. But in a game where you're running around like a bunch of spastic lunatics with Mac yes. 10s and sawn offs, the turrets, yeah, you have you have turrets and stuff. <laughs> it wouldn't make sense that much. I don't know. That's just me. Maybe I'm uh, maybe I'm dumb. Hey Ali, you wanted to say something, punk? What was that? You know, I've got a question too. Do you think MTA is safer? Yes. When it comes to hacking. I used to be an admin on an MTA server. I used to be an, I used to be an admin on a lot of servers. But on this MTA server, MTA um, scans your I mean, GTA. most of the stuff is server-sided. Uh, everything was server-sided. You had to actually download stuff in order to get into servers. Yeah, that's what I like. Yeah, bro. It... it it was a lot easier. You can code MTA easier. You can do um, things on MTA like UIs that you can't do on SAMP. It's a lot more complex. But what MTA does is they scan your um, your GTA folder every time you launch the game. And if you have ASIs, which um, Clio is ASI, then it crashes your game. Oh, which is and amazing. it detects so be it by the D3, D9, DLL. So the thing with that is you can't, unless you have older versions of Sobia, you can't really use Cleos or cheats on MTA. So they're kind of like in a safe haven right now. What about Samp? Is there a way to stop them? Uh, I guess. I mean, you can do bullet logging, sync shooting. You can, um, well, I know on the Samp server I used to play on, we can bullet log. And based on sync shooting, because two clients were talking to each other, you, we had logs of when someone fired a bullet, if it hit, and it gave us a general accuracy depending on how many times it hit. And if someone had more than a 70% accuracy, it would file a report. And yeah. if you're hitting 70% of your shots with sawn-offs, which keep in mind are shotguns and they spread, well, you're hitting 70% of your shot with Mac 10s, which go in circles, then uh, there's a very high chance that that person's aimbotting. Yep, you got a problem. You know, every time people talk about MTA, uh, it seems like they give a hundred reasons that are true why MTA is better than Sam. And I've only played MTA for like 10 minutes, but. I feel like it's better than SAMP. How the hell is SAMP more popular if MTA is better? Oh, yeah. All right. It's more organized. I'll tell you uh, I'll tell you exactly how. If you open up Google right now and you type <laughs> Grand Theft Auto, I'm going to do it right now, San Andreas Multiplayer, SAMP is the first one to pop up. The first result. The second result is to download SAMP. And the fourth result is how to download, install, and play SAMP. That's exactly why SAMP is more popular. Because the name the name gets right to the point. Mm -hmm. As because opposed to multi theft auto. When you look up San Andreas multiplayer, you find SAMP because that's literally what SAMP means. San Andreas multiplayer. And multi theft auto, I don't think people would be looking up that term. Nope, it's a thing that which came out first, I don't um, ah, that's a good one. I think Sam did. No, no, no. MTA yeah, came I used out first. Google. 2003. MTA okay. came out first, I believe. Because Crazy Bobs was hosted on MTA a long time ago. And then when the Sam client was stable enough, they moved over. How about that? How about that? Let's see here. Uh, continue the lag shot here. Ali, you... 
you're in Epic Sexy Cops, the fag group with Joe Lethal. Uh, shout out to Joe Lethal. He's kind of a wingding, but shout out to him. You know, well, with with the introduction of lag cop, you know, uh, it's been a lot easier for these cop tanks to run rampant. You know, it's a lot easier to shoot and, you know, cops usually aren't as good fighters. High-end cops are usually not as good fighters as high-end civilians. Okay, so it gives these, it gives an opportunity for these passenger seat cops to flourish. Because uh, all you got to do is point your MP5 at a Warren's tire and boom, it's gone. Right. Um, earlier you said that lag shot is snit. I'm sorry, lag con. No, lag shot is snit. But you gotta agree with me that it's much easier for these cop tankers or passenger seat cops to take down warrants, which is uh, forced crazy Bob to have to change a whole lot of stuff to try to balance out the pizza, you know. Well, I guess. It was a good idea. It was just a bug, as you said. It has to be fixed, and it's fixed. Somewhat. Uh, you know, people get mad with insta-fixes. You know, and insta-fixes, I think, were the, the, the biggest anti-cop tank addition to the server. Um, but I even still think way. that the accuracy when you surf on the car is lower now. Yeah, that's what it says. Um, I don't do a lot of surfing, so I honestly have no idea. That is extremely true. It does reduce the accuracy. Uh huh. Very. A lot. You have to. Um, what it does is it's uh it's pretty simple, but you have to aim above when you're car surfing because your bullets just go below your crosshair. But I don't know why. I mean, it makes sense. But did you yeah, remember when they sense. implemented lag comp and then they implemented M4 drive-by? Yes. That was crazy. Yeah, you know, because the M4, they, they zoomed in very, very much. And it was it, for the worst shooter in history. The range is so high. Do you yes. know um how a recoil, or quote-unquote recoil, works on Samp? Um... No, actually. Alright, a little bit of knowledge. I'll make it very simple. Based on your crosshair, that it can only shoot in the crosshair distance. So if you shoot your, your gun, your bullets will not land outside of your crosshair. And if you're in a vehicle, okay. and you're aiming out the vehicle, your, your crosshair doesn't expand, correct? That's so. That's right. Can you imagine the laser beam M4? Lord. It'll be done in three seconds. Oh yeah, uh, I know, I just you know, figured. I don't mind speaking about cop tanks because uh, I think insta-fixes are kind of good in a sense. I'm on the opposite argument. Yeah, it's, it's a lot better than these punks suggesting that there should be double vehicle health. I think that's an awful idea. Uh, they did that on the server I used to play on. They did, um, specifically, uh, like, 5,000 vehicle health because, uh, Damn. it was, like, more, um, armored vehicles, not every vehicle, but, like, police cruisers, or if you upgraded to a police vehicle, it would, um, get more health. Yeah, I wouldn't be against, uh, tougher vehicles getting more vehicle health, even though they'll most likely take less damage from, uh, crashes anyway. But, um, it's... That would just make cops a little bit too crazy. Because the second yeah. you get a wanted person on foot, it's game over. If you the... if you give that cop the necessary tool to not even step out of his vehicle because it won't blow up, on top of that, an insta fix to fix it back up to like 2,000, 3,000 health, then uh, yeah. I think that'd be too hard. Oh, yeah, it'd have to be one or the other. Um... Here you say, uh, just one last thing here. Uh, again, for those punks saying, "Oh well, cars should have like 2,000 vehicle health," that would that destroy that would destroy solo cops. I tell you, solo cops are at a premium these days. Okay, and if you have a uh, a car with 2,000 vehicle health, you know, the cop tanks they'll be able to rip through it easily. But 
So all cops think about us. Okay. Don't think about these faggot ass uh, passenger seat cops out there. Anyway, that is that is lag shot. I think we would have had a lot more snit to talk about lag shot. But we're at the 20 minute mark. We're about to go for a break. All right. So listen to this music. All right. And we'll be right back on the Bunkery Radio Show. All right. Welcome back again, punks, to the Punkery Radio Show with uh, me, Holly, Cyberg, and Restfield. Okay. Again, chat again. Shout out again to all the punks playing LB right now. And Los Santos, uh, our sponsor again is Liberty City's Finest, How to Become a Cop. Here is the ad read. Get the respect you deserve as a member of the Liberty City Police Department. You'll always be right. Meet new members of your community and beat them senseless for getting on your nerves or because you're drunk. Become the law. I'm on a power trip that lasts a lifetime. At long last, you're a man. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Become one of Liberty City's finest. Enroll today. All right, that was Liberty City's Finest, brought to you by Liberty City Story. Shout out to all the cop DMers out there. I'm sure you can relate to that. Hey, well, second segment, we're going to talk about some pretty bad suggestions on the CNR forum. Now, I don't want to discourage anybody from making a suggestion. No suggestion is a bad suggestion, just like how they say no publicity that's bullshit. is bad. <laughs> that is, you know that's bullshit. Oh, dog. Okay, well, uh, I mean, any 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 publicity is uh, good publicity, man. Any publicity is good. Look at the Kardashians, man. Look at the Kardashians. Um, and also, before we get to the suggestions, uh, shout out to the interview that we did with Rest Fuel last week. Uh, nobody got hurt. Nobody got fired. Um, it seems that everyone though, got free hot dogs that time. It was nice. Yes, I hope everybody remembered hot dogs from that. Uh, interview. Hey, well, uh, first suggestion we're going to talk about, I'm going to put the link in IRC for the punks in IRC to look at and follow along. This punk named Worship Me suggested, suggested rather, that there should not be, like, I'm sorry, there should be like a cop limit and, uh, when there is a cop limit, for example, if there's 100 people, the cop limit could be like 50. If there is 50 cops, then people can't skin change to a cop. People can't change to a temp cop, which, you know, this kind of thing has been suggested for years. You know, he says, it basically ruins the experience for both civils and law enforcement when there are too many cops because it is almost impossible to wait, uh, evade from a warrant. So when the player is trying to change skin, it should be informed that the player can't skin change to cop, and there is no employment and law enforcement. Hope I get better replies in this post. So, um, anybody can answer this. Is there such a thing as too many cops on the server? Um, no, to be honest. Well, I know that there is like 20% cops playing. I just noticed that. To take the percent, you can take SF. But like, if there is like 70% only as a cop, like 50% of them are stupid. They can't even do proper cop work. Like Camp City Hall and just take it and take it. Yeah, you know, um, to be honest, obviously there should not be a cap on cops. That is a snitty suggestion. But the so. server is managed to be anything you want. You want to be civilian, yeah, open, exactly. You want to be exactly. Cop, you be cop. Hey man, you want to be anything? I'm literally running around raping people right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, like, let's let's do that, man. Wait, I'm, I'm Mark is read. I'm not supposed to change my skin if I change to civilians as the breaking the law. <laughs> Mark is read 2016 quote. Owned it. But yeah, in my opinion, um, obviously, you can be anything you want. As they, as your parents say, you can be anything you want, but I do think there is such thing as too many cops on the server. Um, and I noticed this with Los Santos and San Fierro, uh, the two cities that when there are a lot of people on, there are a ton of cops and, you know, there are times where half the cops are terrible. 
and that I, gets in the way. I mean, not every um, not every cop has to be on par. It's pretty easy to drive around and hit two. But um, <laughs> I used to be discouraged from playing San Fierro when I first came back, because that's when Ace Team was around and they were very uh active, and uh, we logged on San Fierro. You commit one crime and they they just arrested the shit out of you. I was like, damn. San Fierro isn't that fun. This is my thought. Uh, whenever I don't rob places very often, but whenever I try to rob places, you know, there's always some faggot out there because I don't usually turn warrant. Um, oh, you know, they do slash for us. Here a shot and so warrant. I'm gonna arrest that faggot. Take a screenshot, print okay. it out, and put and it that, on and my refrigerator. A warrant. And that many's the one. I should arrest that guy and get myself reputation in the chat. Yeah, exactly. You know. I mean, you guys just need to. Oh, I'm sorry to say is you, you gotta you gotta get good. It, it's really, <laughs> really, really easy to get away from a cop. Yeah, yeah it's true. It is. Good. Um, all yeah, you yeah, have to do fix is and run away. No, nah, not even I fix. It depends on um the vehicle. It depends on uh who's shooting. And uh, the best way is learn how to stunt, you know, with the bikes and stuff. <laughs> learn how to uh, just learn how to get good. I know, um, I don't mean to brag, but I'm a pretty good driver, and I don't really get arrested that often until um, you get that one cop in the infernus for the bullet, and that's that, yeah, exactly. And just like Ali said, shout out to all the assholes that stunt on the bikes, they're the worst type of warrants. Fuck you, middle finger to you a strong middle finger you know uh, it's pretty easy to get away, from, get away from solo cops for me um all you have to do is zone them out make sure they don't give they don't get a jump on you to lag pitch you because if they do then you got a problem uh, uh to be honest you got nothing against the cop tank still even <laughs> yes um i'm not very good against cop tanks you know i i was playing san fiero last week and uh, there were like seven people on a furnace and I mean, <laughs> you know, uh, I think the best way, you know, it's easy in San Fierro to ditch them because of the elevation changes and all of the turns and all that. Um, and I thought I was doing a pretty good job, but the problem is that once you get into open space, once the, you know, the floor is open, then that's when you get owned it. That's why Megatron and Catron play San Fierro a lot because there's not a lot of open space inside the city. Mega so trying to just turn around. That guy is a really bad cheater, though. Yeah. Yes. He can out. drive. I'll give you that much. But he has uh, vehicle health hacks and uh, not. Oh, yeah. I mean, oh, the yeah. funny part is not I've not deceived the cop. is solo. He's not toggling. I mean, he's not cheating. But there's like a few more cops behind him. Then he's just gonna toggle the health lock. Yeah, and and too bad. Megatron and Cash One's pro uh, probably not playing right now, but shout out to this faggot. He is he is a cheater. He is a as I Sounds said in the past three of my chase. Um, he's a nice. yeah. He's a nasty, dirty, occasional cheater. Okay, Megatron and Cash One is a cheater. Don't <laughs> let him tell you otherwise. Remember? He is a he's cheater. A cheater. He got cheater. really mad at me when I called him a cheater. <laughs> really, really mad. Like he was like, "I'm not cheating." Those are my other names. Those are people every, trying to be me. <laughs> every stupid cheater, if you call him a cheater, you get mad. I'm not cheating, I'm just only pro. I love yeah. the people that uh that used to cheat and then they uh call you out and they think that you're cheating. Shout out to Lance Benelli. Shout out to Jesus. <laughs> Owned. Shout out to people who think there's a silent name. <laughs> Shout out to Jen. <laughs> He's listening by the way, he was PMing me. <laughs> Well, last um, last statement on this, Megatron to Catron. Uh, he was saying in chat last week that he's 29 years old. Yeah, I think, well, he acts 12. He says he's 29, but he acts 12. Fucking faggot saying neener, neener every day. I don't know if Arison neener. cheated or not, but Arison was a lot better than Megatron to Catron. Uh, middle finger to that retarded attention-seeking piece of shit. Anyway, uh, another suggestion here. This one was also uh, suggested by Worship Me. I'll put it in IRC here. Had a, 
Uh, the first thing I want to look at is he suggested that I'm going to read his post word for word. Foggy weather should barely. They often annoy drivers, especially pilots. Almost impossible to fly in such weather. Car also gets smashed in such weathers. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no. I get smashed because right. you have a low <laughs> FPS. You better right. get yourself a new computer. Yeah, technically, yeah, right your FPS should be better because the view distance is limited. And also, technically, it's we should remove to taxes too because that's also a pain in the ass. Dude, I hey, used to this is America. I used to play on a laptop and it was horrible on a foggy or heavy rain. Good. I used to get a lot of frames when I had a bad uh, computer. I mean, you know, shout out to the Rustler pilots out there. I guess I feel for you, but <laughs> I'm the best. Sorry. Big, big shout out to Fagzy. I love that guy. Always when he sees me solo, he helps me a lot. Yeah, I'm a really good Rustler pilot, but cop work is just so boring, man. Yeah. I mean, big shout out to Blister as well. Oh, yeah, Blister is really cool. You know who's good? Sorrowful. You ever see Sorrowful? Oh, that guy is pretty talented. Sorrowful man. is a yeah, nasty so Rustler good. pilot. I remember me, Sigma One, and that guy used to do copper with a Maverick. He was just flying backwards with a Maverick. Yep. It was he, fucking dope. He flew through tunnels and would arrest people. Yeah. But I remember Swanson there right was now. an old video on the Sinner forum posted by Justo, the Sinner Endman, that he makes the PD garage, SF PD garage, inside with a Maverick. Oh, yeah. I can fly a wrestler through um, any tunnel in the game. Just because I've trained myself how to be a pilot. Yeah, you know, um, shout out to the foggy weather. But, you know, my problem is when people complain, oh, my game lag had not changed weather. I get 15 FPS. Listen, bro, oh. this is 2017, okay? If you lag in fog or rain, then. Then you're a confirmed general price. Let's, uh, let's be honest. Price. This is a 10 year old game. I don't think you should lag that much. If you do lag, you know, you might want to you might want to get your hardware up a little bit, but it is a 10-year-old game. Or change your net cafe. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Those internet cafe computers are pretty good. I've seen them run uh Payday. If they can run Payday on like 60 frames, you can 100% hit uh like yes. 200 on GTA. So anyway, oh yeah, let's go to DM Lion. DM Lion said that medics should not be able to slash cure easily if we bought diseases. Nah. Nah. The thing with CNR I like so much is because it's very balanced. The balancing, there's almost nothing in this server that is too overpowered. And STDs would be one of them. Because STDs is literally DM. You can go around, you can <laughs> rape a dude, you can kill him, and that's it. They just die slowly. But, if you have someone that can counter a rapist, aka someone that can forcibly cure you, then uh, in my opinion, that's a good thing. Yeah, you know, I agree. And also, I've, I've done some raping over the past month, and... Uh, I have not been cured by one medic. I have not seen one medic. So, the M line used you. to cure a lot of people, and then once I got mad at him, and then he stopped curing me. Who was that admin that would sit at uh, the PD and always cure you? Bieber. God yeah. damn, I hated Bieber so much. <laughs> Honestly, you know, um, the M line must do a lot of jail rape because that's the most likely place that you'll get cured. If you're strolling around the city, um, then you're most likely not going to get cured. A medic is most likely not going to drive around the city to you to try to cure you. They are most likely going to stay in the PD, if I get. Yeah, like, I rate people all the time because that's just fun to me, and I haven't been cured in a long time. How about that? Alright, so we're gonna have one last commercial, I mean music break. When we come back, I'm going to give the Numbnut of the Week award. That's gonna go to Jawher7 and Mosin. I talked a bit about this last week, but I'm gonna give them 
my plan. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back, punks, to the final segment of the CN uh, Punkery Radio Show. Shout out to Alexander out there doing a smash up job in the server right now, advertising for the radio. I don't know how you do it. I I tried it and it's pretty snit. And uh, anyway, let's get into our sponsor again, Liberty City's Finest. How to become a cop? Let's hear the other. Hey, is, is there a job where I could shoot someone or sexually molest them and then not get in trouble? There sure is. Listen. I'm power hungry, paunchy, and baldy. How can I be a hero? By shooting people for the state. Become one of Liberty City's finest and you'll be a hero today. All it takes is two weeks training and a non-refundable deposit for your uniform and bullets. And you're ready to enforce the law. Become one of Liberty City's finest. Enroll today. Right, that was Liberty City's Finest, brought to you by Lips 106 on Liberty City Stories. All right, so time to give two fags uh, what we call around here Num Nut of the Week. It's almost like Donkey the Day, but less severe. So I touched on this last week. Draw her seven and Mosin, two Tunisian players. I'm pretty sure that they're butt buddies. And <laughs> White Knight! Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it, it just came out. I didn't mean it. Yes, White Knight draw her set. Both, but well, whatever. Anyway, so I was playing. I was playing CNR about an hour after the Wednesday show here. I said something like this last week, but I was playing cop in my ranger. You know, mind my own business and all that. I go up near the market ammunition, and the fag from all the way down the street shoots my car. I don't think Mosin knew it was me, but then I realized who was around. It was Strawberry Seven Mosin. Okay, so you know, you know what admins do. Sometimes admins they beat people into punishing them. Okay, and this is one of those moments. So I give Drawer Seven a ticket, right? And then this idiot for about twenty seconds. Well, Drawer Seven, I expect them to do the, these kind of stuff. Surely he's a not rule breaker. He's just like, well, like uh, this he's some a stupid stuff. I mean, he's his know. friend of mine, but I know him, and, it, and it, I don't really like him at all what he does. But yeah, he calls it a troll, you know. See, he's an alright guy until uh, he added um, I'm gonna not disclose names, but uh, someone was talking to a uh, a girl he liked on CNR, <laughs> and uh, he added them on Facebook. And said to stop talking to that girl. <laughs> That's where I draw the line. <laughs> I think I know <laughs> which girl you was think? it. That was yeah. hilarious. <laughs> I think I know. That was that, like gold. That, that is my problem when people act like idiots around CNR girls, you know. Uh, but, you know, draw her, he shot at me. I hogged him. Two minutes later, Mosin shot at me. I hogged him. They both thought it was funny. I disabled Mosin because he's an idiot. Um, and draw her a few days ago, he quit to avoid in that same ammunition. So if anybody see draw her, sees draw her, he's getting disabled. Tell your friends, friends, tell them he's getting disabled. Okay, good. You, all right, quick question. I don't know. This is too, um, too, yeah. uh, explicit. Yes. You can't disable people offline. <laughs> maybe you can, maybe you don't, that's an admin secret. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, it's yeah, explicit. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Alright, okay, making sure. I can tell you that. Don't wanna... But that's a cliffhanger for you. It's a cliffhanger. Anyway, punks, numb nuts of the week. Draw her seven, Mosin. Okay, so that'll be it for the CNR Radio Talk Show for today. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna have Cassie on the show. No dirt on her at all, but we'll see what we can do. Okay. Not unless she falls in the dirt. Owned. All right, punks for Ali, for Westfield, for Siberian, for Bega, who you just heard there. This is the CNR Radio Punkery Talk Show. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>